a gender definition is that productivity is the relationship between the output generated by a production or service system and the input provided to create this output. Thus, productivity is defined as the efficient use of resources that is labor, capital, land, materials, energy, information. These resources are used in the production of various goods and services. Higher productivity means accomplishing more with the same amount of resources or achieving higher output in uh, terms of volume and qu quality for the same input. This is uh, usually stated, stated as output divided by input is equal to productivity. Productivity can also be defined as the relationship between results and the time it takes to accomplish them. Time is often a good de denominator since it is a universal measurement and it is beyond human control. The less time taken to achieve the desired result, the more productive the system. Regardless of the type of production, economic or political system, the definition of productivity remains the same. Thus, through productivity may mean different things to different people. The basic concept is always the relationship between the quantity and quality of goods or services produced and the quantity of uh, resources used to produce them. Productivity is a comparative tool for managers, industrial engineers, economists and politicians. It compares production at different levels of uh, the economic system with the resources consumed. Sometimes productivity is uh, viewed as uh, a more intensive use of such resources as labor and uh, machines which should uh, reliably indicate performance or efficiency if measured accurately. However, it is important to separate productivity from uh, intensity of labor because while labor productivity reflects the beneficial results of labor, its intensity means excess effort and is no more than work speed up. The essence of productivity improvement is working more intelligently, not harder. Real productivity improvement is not achieved by working harder. This results in uh, very limited increases in productivity due to man's physical limitations. The ILO has uh, for many years promoted an advanced view of productivity which refers to the effective and uh, efficient utilization of all resources, capital, land, materials, energy, information and time in addition to labor. In promoting such views, one must combat some common misunderstandings about productivity. First is, productivity is not only labor efficiency or labor productivity. Although labor productivity statistics are still useful policy making data, the false conclusions which may be drawn from analysis of single factor productivity are uh, demonstrated by a major British productivity sex story that is agriculture. The second misconception is that it is possible to judge performance simply by output. The latter may be rising without an increase in productivity if, for instance, input costs have risen disproportionately. Moreover, increases in output compared with the previous years should take into account price increases and inflation. Such an approach is often the result of being process oriented at the expense of uh, paying attention to final results. This is common in many bureaucratic systems. The third, 
The third problem is confusion between productivity and profitability. In real life, profit can be obtained through price recovery even though productivity may have time down. Conversely, high productivity does not always go with high profit since goods which are produced eff uh, efficiently are not necessarily in demand. Hence, there is one more misunderstanding that is confusing productivity with efficiency. Efficiency means producing high quality goods in the shortest possible time, but we have to consider if these goods are needed. A fifth mistake is to believe that cost cutting always improves productivity. When done indiscriminately, it can make matters worse in the long run. Another myth which causes damage in that is that uh, productivity can only be applied to production. In reality, productivity is relevant to any kind of organization or system, including services and uh, notably information. With the changing structure of occupations, information specialists have come a new target for uh, productivity uh, drives. Information technology itself gives new dimensions to productivity concepts and productivity management. In these days of flexible in automation mis microprocessors, just in time manufacturing and distribution systems and mixed flow production systems where hours are less relevant as a measure of effectiveness than in the past. In fact, in industries and regions where steel collar workers or robots are replacing blue collar workers, the productivity of capital or other expensive scarce resources such as energy or raw materials is of far more concern than labor productivity. The concept of pr uh, productivity is also increasingly linked with quality of output, input and the process itself. An element of key importance is the quality of the workforce, its management and its working conditions and it has been generally recognized that rising productivity and improving quality of work life to ten, uh, do tend to go hand in hand. In this sense, productivity must be considered in both social and economic terms. Attitudes toward work and achievements may be improved through employees' participation in planning goals, implementing processes, and through sh sharing productivity gains. Log on to my website www.asifjmead.com Also visit my blog at asifjmead.wordpress.com Have a great day!